got lipstick on it, but you know, we're not gonna judge me. And I tied it to my hair. So we are like over two with this. Hi my loves, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have a really quick video. It is how you can make a DIY no sew face mask either for yourself if you don't have access to any or I don't wanna say more importantly, but just as importantly for your loved one in prison because a lot of places are not giving out masks, have run out of masks, will only give out one mask and they get filthy and disgusting because guys are working out in them and sleeping in them and it's just getting a little bit gross. So if you're interested how to make a no sew DIY face mask to keep yourself or your loved one safe and healthy out of stuff that they would have in prison, like an old t-shirt, please keep watching. <laughs> If you're new here, my name is Ro. I am the founder of an organization called Strong Prison Wives and Families, the author of a book called The Comeback Code. We don't glorify or glamorize prison or prison wife life here, but I will teach you how to make the best out of this really crummy, very painful, very anxiety ridden right now, but hopefully one shot deal. This video was inspired by my best friend who sent me a photo of herself yesterday. She's so super crafty. In fact, here's a really quick story. Right before I was leaving for the prisoner family conference, it was her son's birthday. He had a whole bunch of basketball tournaments. They live about 45 minutes away. I went to go watch the tournament. I was just wearing like workout clothes, leggings, a tank top and a sweatshirt over it because we were just changing seasons. It was mid October. And I was just about to leave to go do a keynote speech at the prisoner family conference all about how we have to live above stigma. So when I got to her house, she was like, oh my God, I have to make you a t-shirt for that. And I was like, it's okay, don't worry, I'm leaving tomorrow, no big deal. She's like, no, she goes, what are you wearing underneath your sweatshirt? And I said, well, just this tank top. It was just a plain black tank top. And she's like, perfect, take it off. And she scrambled and she made me the most beautiful living above stigma, like this little whole little scene on the shirt, gorgeous, I'll pop it up there. Anyway, last night she sent me a photo of her with an adorable mask on with a smile on it. And she said, I'm learning how to make no sew masks. So I was like, you're adorable. I love it. I went to bed. I woke up this morning and I was like, wait, no sew masks. That's perfect for people on the inside. Let me do some research and figure out how we can make them with supplies that inmates would have, that people inside prison would have. And I found the easiest no sew mask that you can make with an old t-shirt. They definitely have access to t-shirts. Actually, this is one that I was just about to give away and because it's got stains all over it, but a short sleeve t-shirt would probably be better. They'd probably have more access to short sleeves. Either one does not really matter. And I personally have scissors to use as cutting tools. Don't come at me. They're not gonna have these in prison. What they will have is a razor blade. They use them as knives to cut anything and everything in their cells from fruit, and things that they eat, pickles, stuff for pizza, all the way to pickles, stuff for pizza. That doesn't make any sense until I explain that pickles are definitely a topping for pizza inside of prison. Out here, we're probably like, yuck, at least I am. So they will have a cutting utensil in most places. Don't come at me, they're not gonna have scissors. I am aware of that. We just don't trust me with a razor blade, but you can use anything you have access to. For example, a pencil or a pen to poke a hole in there and then tear it. They're very resourceful. They will know how to do this. Just like we get really resourceful when we have wires in our bra and we're trying to visit our loved ones and we need to pop them out. You will figure out a way, I guarantee. You're also going to need something that's a filter. So you can use a paper towel, you can use a coffee filter out here. Inside, they use instant dissolvable coffee so they're not gonna have coffee filters, but they will have access to some sort of paper towel, paper for writing, toilet paper. I don't think it's as much of a shortage in there as it is out here. So anything to put in between the sleeve to make the filter. Okay. As I was getting ready to make this, I thought, oh, I should have made this beforehand because we all know that <laughs> sometimes I mess things Sometimes I mess things up, but that's okay because one, that's funny. Two, there's two sleeves on the shirt. So the way that you start is you're going to start on the seam. Usually you're gonna have a short sleeve shirt. It does not matter whatsoever. So we're going to take the sleeve and we're going to move the camera back so you guys can see this better. Okay. You're just gonna cut along the seam. 
Now again, this is going to be more of a short sleeve t-shirt, but I just don't own any of those. I call them 5k t-shirts. Just a, like a promo t-shirt. I always give those away to the kids when I run a 5k because they always want them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this as if it was a short sleeve t-shirt. So I'm going to do that. So if you're using a long sleeve shirt, just cut off some of it. What's great about a long sleeve is that you can make multiple masks out of it. You also have two sleeves. I would encourage you to tell your loved one who's incarcerated to make both sleeves, to make both masks, because this way they can wash it in the sink and they can have one washed and drying because it's going to take a little while to dry in the cell and they can be wearing one because Adam's been wearing his to work out and he said that it's getting gross and stinky because he's using the ones that they gave them inside of there. So this is another option that I actually am gonna tell him about on the phone tonight so he can have these for when he works out and then he could just wash them in the sink. How are you gonna tie your mask around your face? Well, you're gonna open your sleeve up so the seam part is now the middle. See that, that was the seam. So you're just gonna open it that way. And then you're going to take your t-shirt again. It's getting hot. It's getting hot in here. You're gonna take your t-shirt again and you're going to cut along the bottom seam. You're just gonna cut that right off. So let's move, this is our mask. Those are just our garbage. I don't know if it's just me, but cutting up t-shirts just brings me right back to my youth because I was an 80s child and we always destructed our clothes. But on top of it, I grew up in a cult, so we weren't allowed to buy clothes. We weren't allowed to buy like trendy clothes or anything like that. So if you wanted them, you had to figure out how to make them yourself, which we did very often, or sneak and get them. Yes, I did grow up in a cult. And if you are not aware of that story, then refer to the link up in the cards. Okay, I messed up. So I'm just going to cut this off. Now, what you're going to do with this piece of fabric is you're just going to pull on it and stretch it out until it becomes more like a string versus a chunk of fabric. These stretch out pretty quickly. Do you guys destruct your own t-shirts? I do very, very often. I have so much fun with it. So let me know in the comments below what you do. I'll make like gym workout tank tops out of people's merch and that kind of thing because normal t-shirts don't typically tend to flatter me in my shape. So I just do that. Okay, so now you have your two pieces of string. You can keep pulling them and making them whoops, you can keep pulling them and making them thinner like a string or you could just leave them like this. I don't think it's that big of a deal. So now what you're gonna do is you have your mask and remember for a man, he's gonna have a bigger armhole so he'll have a bigger mask that will fit him. For me, I have a smaller armhole so I don't need as big of a mask because I'm not as big as a, of a person. So now I have my mask and you're just threading this through just like that. Voila, beautiful. These are obviously the strings that hold the mask on your face. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take your paper towel, your coffee filter, your toilet paper, your writing paper, whatever they have access to on the inside, and you'll fold it. If this acts as a filter for the germs, you're gonna fold it. You're just gonna slide it right in there. Obviously, this is not going to be tight on you if you just put it on like that. But as you pull these strings and tie it, then you are going to make this fit your face. So with these clip behind your ears. Voila, there you go. And I got lipstick on it, but you know, we're not gonna judge me. And I tied it to my hair. So we are like over two with this. Now what my friend Mary did was she decorated the front of this, which was adorable, but tell your loved one not to decorate it with anything like F the police because you're gonna get yourself in trouble. You're gonna earn yourself a one-way ticket to the hole. So it would be cute if they put maybe their number on there or something like that, or I don't know if they can't do that because they'll get taken away. I have no idea. Now, before you come for me and say they're in prison, they're not allowed to cover their face, da 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 da, they might not be allowed to. This is not 100% foolproof, but this is definitely helpful. 
It's amazing. So this isn't 100% foolproof. They might not allow them to have them in there, but majority of places are giving them out. They're just running out. So they should be allowed to do this and wear them. Most facilities are not having a problem with it. A lot of people are sleeping in them, keeping them on 24 hours, keeping them on while they're on a the phone. Adam was taking his off. I started to get really, really harsh with him and was like, keep it on, please. This is way too serious for you to mess around. So if you guys make these, if you try them, please, please do me a favor and tag me at Strong Prison Wives on Instagram. I would love to see photos. Also, if your loved ones make them and they have a way to take a picture and send it to you, then tag me in that on Instagram as well. I would love, love, love to see that. Of course, if you need to hide their face, hide their face. And one last thing, if you do use a long sleeve t-shirt and you have babies, if you have kids, then the arm will taper as it goes down and it gets smaller. So you can use this part of the arm to make masks for your children because there's gonna be a point where you might need to take them out so you could go get groceries or eventually to the park to play. When this first lets up, you can go out again and we're all still going to be paranoid and scared. That'll be helpful. It might be mandated to have them wear masks and the big surgical ones are probably uncomfortable for little babies. So that's a huge help as well. Okay, and then also you could decorate them don't wear white with lipstick because you're going to get that. And I didn't even care because this shirt was going in the garbage anyway, but I might make a whole bunch of masks out of them and donate them to people. You don't even have to take the strings out because now you have it sized for the next time you need it. You just put it on and then you slide a new paper towel in and you're good. So I'll show you. doesn't have to be pretty, does not have to be perfect. It just gets the job done and it keeps our loved ones as healthy and safe as possible. Okay, you guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know if you try this. Let me know if you give it to your loved one and what they say. I will let you know what Adam says if I tell him and he likes it or tries it or he's like, you're crazy. You guys keep staying strong, keep loving strong, keep supporting one another through this journey because you're one day closer to all being behind you. Lots of love from my heart to all of yours. Stay safe, stay healthy and I will see you in the next one. Bye.